And 9-11 search and rescue worker Kenneth George is talking to us from Long Island, New York. More. Good to see you, Kenneth. So one of our correspondents, she did a profile piece on you, and I know it touched a lot of people because here we saw you with all of these pictures with different politicians like Hillary Clinton, you know, letters from, uh, from President Obama, and, and that's all nice. But the grim reality is that you, like so many first responders, cannot even afford your own health care. Uh, tell us about what it is that you're suffering from and sort of your day-to-day -day life these days. Well, I'm suffering right now from a, a restricted airway disease, which means I can't get enough oxygen in or take enough oxygen out. I have the PTSD. I also have had a heart attack due to the steroids that I was on. Uh, because of my lungs, I wasn't getting enough oxygen, so it caused me to have a heart attack in 2005. I got that 9-11 cough that's extremely bad. Uh, every night I have to take my cough syrup like clockwork, and if I don't, I, 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 you know, I have to take my oxygen, because they put me on oxygen, and it, it's just like my whole life just turned upside down. Wow. Totally you know, upside down. And this bill to essentially provide medical coverage for people like yourself, it was blocked. I mean, we can all sit here and get really angry about it, but it affects you so much more personally. I mean, what did you think when you found out? What kind of message does this send? Well, uh, you know, I was really disappointed when, when they turned around and voted to change this older bill down. I mean, that really hurt. I mean, just my co-pays, for, for, for me to pay for my co-pays, It'd be seven hundred eighty dollars a month. That's what I would have to pay. If they don't pass this bill, I'm not going to be able to go to to see these special doctors at at Islandia, who I go see, Dr. Charlene, Dr. Frank Dowling, you know, and they help me get the medications I need. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to afford the medication. There's some medications now, because I got sick, they switched my health care around that ain't even covered through my uh, through my my uh, health care. Uh, the co-pays are ex extremely high. It's too high. Can Can't you, do it. Can you think people would go back and, and do what they did if, if, God forbid, something like that happened again? I mean, knowing the after effects that they would suffer and that, essentially, Washington, as it seems, wouldn't really care. You know, I was thinking about that, and I, my kids asked me the same question. If I, if I had to do it over, would I do it again? And I'll be very frank with you. Uh, I don't think I would, knowing what I know now, because... I see the way they're treating me and my family, and what they doing to me and my family, I don't wish upon any other 9-11 uh, responder family out there. And thank God for, for the city employees and, and, and all the construction workers and, and all, the, all the people out there that went down there. They, they should be compensated and taken care of. They really should be, because it's a sin what they're doing. It really is. And nobody knows that except the 9-11 responder that's home with their families, because their wives and kids feel the, the uh, percussions from me. Are you angry at the lawmakers, Ken? Because, I mean, the question here is, who's protecting you guys? I mean, you know, I've been working here in Washington, D.C. Can't tell you how many lobbyists there are on the Hill representing various, you know, special interests from financial institutions to different banks. What about you guys? Who's, who's there representing you? Well, I'm, I'm fortunate enough. I have uh, my union, D.C. 37, that's helped me out, Ms. Lee Clark. And also, believe it or not, John Field from the Feel Good Foundation. I mean, he's helping out a lot of responders that don't have uh, any any money, or he helps pay for their medications, helps people pay for their their mortgages and stuff like that. So it's good things for people like that, you know, uh, the advocates like that that are trying to get this bill passed and that are helping some of the responders. This bill um, will probably go back uh, uh, to the floor. Do you, are you hopeful at all that it will, in fact, pass? I have to be hopeful, because if this bill doesn't pass, then there's going to be a lot of responders that are going to get sick and pass on. There's going to be a lot of responders that, that are going to try to kill themselves because they, they, they're stuck. They don't know where else to go. They need the hospitalization. They need the health care, which some of these guys don't even have benefits from their own jobs that they, they can't afford anything. So they need this more than anything. And it, 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 I hope to God it does pass. I really do. We all hope that so it passes. Sick. We all hope that it passes. We all hope that you feel better. And we hope that some uh, Republican senators are watching this interview. Kenneth George, 9-11 first responder, thank you so much. Thank you and God bless.